combat team, we're going to take River, who's Ninja's daughter, out for her very first hunts chasing deer. So this is going to be a whole new experience for her, and a whole lot of fun for us. The mission this time really is just to fill the freezer with some meat. So we've headed out to a farm where we know there's plenty of deer running around, and we're going to see if we can't stock the freezers up ready for winter. On our first trip out we spot a bunch of deer in this crop paddock. We managed to get one on the deck and this will be River's very first find on a deer. So I pretty much walk her right to it and uh, she's pretty hesitant to be fair. Wagging her tail, what's this enormous thing and a little bit scaredy cat. With a good pile of meat on board we head back up to the hut for a quiet night ready to hit it again in the morning. We take a hot cuppa up onto the hill and enjoy a beautiful sunrise, We're trying to spot something out for an early morning walk. Only to be caught out straight after breakfast by a cheeky spiker that wanders out at 400 metres. River's second find goes a whole lot better, she's a lot more interested this time round and I'm thrilled. After a decent night's sleep, we spot this deer back out again in the morning. It's 500 odd metres away, so Coops puts in a stalk, going down one hill and up another, and managing to chop the distance down to a cheeky 100 metre shot. Oh, beautiful shot. Yeah, Roger, it's going nowhere. Got the whole thing on film. It's just sick, it. Back for another cheeky night hunt and yet again there are deer in the crop paddocks. We managed to put one down and River takes us straight to it in the dark. Awesome. Our final hunt sees us arriving right in the last two minutes of shooting light. Thankfully we spot this little guy. This is pretty encouraging. I can hear Ninja down the back. He's stopped and his tail's wagging, so I'm very confident. Good boy. Good dog. Good dog, eh? Man, I'm real happy with that. 490 meters. And after finding a piece of lung up there, this is why. That's pretty well bang on. Interested to see where it came out with all of that blood and that massive spray of dirt we saw. Because it took a really big piece of lung with it. Oh here we go. So it's exited out through the other lung and just out forward of the, the other shoulder. It's actually saved most of that shoulder mate which is great. Alrighty, get into it eh? 